Hello everybody, I hope that you are doing very well and welcome back to another cryptocurrency technical analysis where in today's video I'm going to be going through the altcoin market which has just been green across the board today, very nice to see and uh, you know I'll probably go through Link, Ethereum, Litecoin, XRP, uh, Cardano, those are the main ones that I've been trading, sticking with the majors uh, but yeah they've been lovely to trade today and like I was saying to my group earlier in the day that actually altcoins are the better trade right now in comparison to Bitcoin, what can we see on Bitcoin obviously from low to high we've had a bounce off of the golden pocket okay back up and taking the high and now just range bound what do we know while bitcoin is range bound what is best what's the best scenario for altcoins it is when bitcoin is range bound okay when we eventually get a breakout of our triangle pattern then yes then we can go back to trading bitcoin but literally uh, the better trades are alts right now so with that in mind <laughs> um where to start I, th I think it's logical to start with ethereum okay and this is uh, ethereum for me right now if we look at this on the daily it's actually channeled really really well okay so if we were looking at this as a third wave what we can just say is um so i've taken this from the high to the low and then getting a projection uh we have actually just bounced off of the 618 and if you see this is really nice so low to high to low and what we see is golden pocket okay so golden pocket obviously this could just be temporary resistance so we're not saying it's it's a all, all be an end all the high and it has to go that down now but this is obviously logical <laughs> to be looking at resistance and and so it has been okay so you've run into the golden pocket here you know this is where if you want to if you want to short although you will make so much more money just longing this if you want to short these are the areas that you'd be sculpting your shorts on okay so what we can see is uh ethereum clearly running into this 211 to 12 resistance golden pocket and the top of this channel if you look at the one hour look how perfect you cannot get a more perfect channel literally <laughs> literally that is perfection okay this is why i love channels it is perfection okay um so yeah, what I would just say is, is really you're looking at that intermediate support down at 202 again. Um, so yeah, really you're looking at 202 support on the ethereum pair okay looking at uh litecoin usd obviously this is also uh, being pretty nice it's, it's bounced uh did in fact in the end what we can say now in, in sort of hindsight it bounced very nicely off of this uh trend line and also that weekly you got within about one dollar of the weekly and since then Okay, it's just been making a series of higher highs and higher lows. Okay, I've actually been trading the Bitcoin pair. Okay, so the Bitcoin pair, I actually got in late to this. Uh, I did not buy the bottom on the Bitcoin pair, by the way. So I got into this late. Uh, what we can see is from high to low, in the end, bouncing off of the 0 0.5. And this is why I got in late. I was actually waiting for the uh, golden pocket, but never mind. Um, what we can see is from high to low, we didn't find in the... Blah, 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 losing my words here. We did find support in the end off the 0 0.5. Then we saw a, a, a move back up, up to these highs, move back down. You've got a little triangle going on in here. Broke back up, down, and this was my entry. So it was very late. <laughs> uh, but nevertheless, profits, profits. That's all I care about, really. And uh, what we saw is then a, you know, from support, support, resistance, 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 support then you see a gradual move up okay and in just a series of bull flags bull flags you know another potential bull flag what we can say is obviously we're bouncing off really and you know negative two three six also the highs around here uh so this is a, again a logical take profit region uh, you know if you are long from the bottom if you're long from the point five th these are logical take profits i'm not saying close out the trade and i'm not even telling you what to do um you can do whatever you want with your money i'm not a financial advisor obviously uh but personally <laughs> i'm taking profits here and then if we are to get another extension up, I'm looking for around this negative 618, okay? Uh, if we're looking at this as a wave three up, okay, I'd want it to first take out these these highs. But if it does take out these highs and close above, then we could potentially see this as a wave three. And uh, then we'd be looking more up towards a, like a 1618 extension, okay? Which is giving you about 8,000 more or less. Uh, which is co coinciding really nice with the negative one and these highs. So I, I think that's a uh, pretty nice. Uh, this is this is going well in the short term. And if you were looking for a pullback, uh, you could look for this trend line for a pullback or the daily level. So this is the daily, by the way. Oh, sorry, I've like got a cold and just so much stuff going on at the moment. Uh, I hope you appreciate this video uh, <laughs> because I'm kind of dying. <laughs> but what we see is uh, yeah, this daily level is, is as well now broken through. One would expect it to act as support. Uh, so yeah, I've got my eyes on that. Uh, trades of the week has to clearly be XRP. This was absolutely brilliant. I was originally trading this from a harmonic, and it just exceeded all expectations. Uh, so this is one that I did post on Twitter. Uh, what was it, like two days ago? Uh, posted all about this. Da -da 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 -da. Where is the pattern? Let me just find it. Yeah, here we go. So this is what I was trading. Uh, obviously, this has exceeded expectations. What we see is a move through the trend line, move through C, and we're at now up, up challenging highs. Uh, but yeah, this was great. This really was great. And this is why I say never remove a parallel channel, by the way. Because what you can see is the old parallel channel 
old parallel channel we literally moved up here and hit the midpoint pretty pretty perfectly and that's where we found resistance so uh yeah tip never remove those trend lines uh trend lines pack channels but uh yeah that's pretty nice uh and then on short term again we would really be looking Oh, so you've already done this. Sorry, I've literally just got back in, by the way. So I haven't even seen this, but we now have retraced to where I was looking uh, to compound. And that was these old highs. And now we have retested those old highs. So really, we're looking at support. Obviously, this is an extreme move to the upside. A really extreme move to the upside. But... Um yeah, really 2769-ish support if you want to see another rejection. Otherwise, uh, yeah, my first compound would have been here. But <laughs> unfortunately, I've been, not been in my house, so I uh, couldn't compound this. But... Uh yeah, I got one third running on it still, so we'll see where this last third runs to. Uh, I think one of the easiest trades link really, really clearly. Um, what you can see here, low to high, 618. Uh, I mean, how many times have I showed you all this? Low to high, 618. You see a very nice bounce up to the, around this negative 236, and that's now where you're finding a rejection. Um, so, yeah, what else has there been? There, oh, yeah, Cardano. How can I miss Cardano? Um, apologies if i um sounding like... <laughs> Illish, <laughs> illish. Uh, but what we could see again, low to high, six one eight run up. I mean, um, yeah, this this is just so nice, so so nice. Um, so yeah, really, if we're looking at resistance from around five hundred psychological, five hundred psychological, uh, five thirty. Uh, support now has to be looked at four six nine uh, to four eight. Yeah, about four six. Yeah, but more four six nine, four sixty. We're looking at around that region of support. Um, yeah, obviously there are there are opportunities on a few other alts but uh i don't want to go through every alt on this list right now but there obviously are some opportunities you can see uh yeah certain alts doing better than others i guess um so yeah those are the main ones that i've been trading i do believe that this is just a very nice opportunity for the alts while bitcoin ranges here okay when we obviously get a break from this pattern things may well end up changing um so yeah this was uh pretty nice oh yeah so here we go with with cardano this is just uh so we have hit that take one profit this is also what i posted this morning uh looks good for more upwards movement <laughs> yeah absolutely it was good more, more, it was good for more upwards movement absolutely indeed um yeah so um i will just like clear this up obviously you might not be able to tell but this is like the thing when i do youtube videos it's it's, it's uh i love so this is what i was like saying to my group i love trading because it helps me like block out things that are going on in my like, personal life right now it's not the best for me um so like i enjoy trading it's really relaxing for me it's really just uh i, I love it so making these videos are also nice for me but um yeah, obviously in my personal life right now, I've got some, uh, not, not myself personally, but my, my family are having health issues, problems. So I'm just spending a lot of time with them. Uh, you know, for me, I prioritize family, uh, obviously over uh, trading. So yeah, it's just nice to spend some time with my family. Uh, so I have not really been in and that's for me why I um, just generally saying, if you missed moves today, if you have missed anything, then do not worry about it. There's going to be another move. Okay, just, just think of it like that. And if you got in on it, uh, be logical and you'll take profits i guess and uh that's all i'd leave it like i've just been swing trading it so i like it <laughs> i can go out for the day and come back with more money so it's great but nevertheless it's i'm not day trading this at all okay I, i'm kind of a little bit managing it on my mobile but yes yeah, basically just enter the trade in the morning leave it for the night you know it's um yeah it's, it's just swing trading really so uh yeah that's basically the altcoin market is going very well i hope that you have all enjoyed this video thank you all for the support that you've given me um I, oh yeah, maybe a pot. <laughs> Sorry, I just saw this and I really bit my tongue um, to this guy. And apologies if you uh, do find this offensive. But um, people trying to teach me how to trade, I actually find really disrespectful. I've pr probably been trading way longer than this person i have no idea i guess i can't say that but i've been trading a long time i know what i'm doing i do not need some people uh quoting me things out of a book i really don't need that this is a waste of time uh basically he's telling me why did i long xrp well did, why did i long xrp maybe not from disharmonic but i had my reasons to long it and i don't need people trying to tell me how to trade i clearly <laughs> can trade okay so that's just a little moan while i just saw that uh because that kind of annoyed me i didn't give him any time but that did make me think i don't need you to tell me um anyway so here we go uh yeah hope that you all have enjoyed this uh video <laughs> sorry to end on that bad note but uh yeah it really annoys me when people like try and tell me stuff and when and, you know i clearly 
know what I'm doing. <laughs> anyway, blows my mind. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> sorry for that little moan at the end. I hope that you have all enjoyed this video. Let's keep our eye on Bitcoin because it's at the end of the day is more decisive. Uh, but yeah, you have got more opportunities on altcoins. Okay, so that's where the uh, money is, I guess, at the moment. Uh, so yeah, thank you so much from the from the bottom of my heart. Although I'd like doing these videos for myself, also like it just relaxes me. It just like takes my mind off of things that's going on right now. Uh, so <laughs> a little bit selfish for my reason of doing this video tonight, but I hope that you've enjoyed it nevertheless. Thank you honestly so so much for the support, the comments that I received. Um, from that tweet that I put out the other day, just, you know, I don't really like going into my personal life on Twitter, but, you know, the, the comments that I receive from people, you know, they're all extremely, extremely nice. So just, yeah, my heart goes out to you all. Thank you, honestly, so much. Um, you know, at the end of the day, like I always say, families first. You need to make everybody smile. You need to keep as much people as possible happy, uh, even the people that try and troll. I will try and say uh, with a smile, thank you so much for interacting with me, I guess. So uh, that, that's my ending words. Say to someone you love them and uh, give them a smile if you can. Thank you so much, everybody. And I'll catch you in the next video. Although I've got a cold and just things going on in my life. I love you all. Thank you so much and good night. Bye. <laughs>